In this video, we're going to talk about two concepts related to the linear model, r squared and the residual. To begin with, the r squared value is the square of the correlation, which is given by the symbol r. If you're not familiar with correlation, you may want to watch one of the previous videos in which it's discussed in more detail. For now, we'll say that the correlation measures the strength of the linear association between two quantitative variables. The r square value is simply taking the r value and squaring it or raising it to the second power. r squared provides a general measure of how well the regression linearly relates y to x. Here's an example. If our correlation r is 0.85, our r squared value will be 0.85 times 0.85, which is equal to 0.7225. We would interpret this by saying approximately 72% of the variation in y can be explained by x. Let's suppose, for example, that our dependent variable y represents GPA, grade point average and our independent variable x represents the number of hours studied per week. If we assign those two variables, we could then say 72% of the variation in GPA can be explained by hours studied. Of course, this explanation is not definitive. It's just an estimate. Now let's take a look at the residual. The residual is given by the formula y minus y hat and shows the difference between the observed value minus the predicted value. y is our observed value and y hat represents our predicted value. In other words, it's the actual value minus the value that we predict. Let's suppose we have a linear model for the bounce height of a ball in feet. We'll say that the predicted value for the bounce height of this ball is equal to 2.5 feet plus 0.65 times the drop height, also in feet. Now let's pretend that our ball was dropped from a height of 2 feet. The predicted value for the bounce height of this ball would be 3.8 feet. But perhaps when we actually drop the ball from a height of 2 feet, it bounces 4 feet. Let's calculate the residual. Our residual formula, y minus y hat, can be rewritten now as 4 minus 3.8. Our residual is 0.2. If we have a residual 